Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to have a special lesson on swimming. Are you all ready? Yes, Miss M. We've been looking forward to this. I can't wait to learn how to swim better. I want to be able to swim like a fish. Swimming is so much fun. I'm excited to learn new techniques. I hope we get to practice diving today. I've always wanted to try it. Miss M, will we be learning any new strokes as well? Absolutely, Ellie. We'll be focusing on improving your freestyle and backstroke techniques today. But first, let's start with some warm-up exercises to get our muscles ready. Miss M, what about breathing techniques? I always struggle with that. That's a great point, Lydia. Breathing is crucial in swimming. We'll dedicate some time to practicing proper breathing techniques and help you overcome any difficulties. Miss M, will there be any water games today? I love playing games while learning new skills. Of course, Zoe. Learning should always be fun. We'll incorporate some water games to make the lesson more enjoyable. Miss M, will we be using any flotation devices during the lesson? Today, we'll focus on building confidence and strength in the water without relying on flotation devices. However, as we progress, we'll introduce some helpful tools to assist in specific drills. Miss M, what should we do? It's easy. You can swim like me. Yeah. Now, Stephanie, swim. That's very nice. I can swim like a mermaid. Because I can breathe underwater. Well, I'm the expert who can swim in the pool. My body is so buoyant that it floats very easily in the water. Gosh, that water is very cold. Hi, Miss Madsen. We're going swimming. What are you doing? We're doing some lessons about swimming. Swimming lessons. We do like swimming lesson. Up next is using snorkels and swim masks before swimming underwater. Are you all ready to learn? Yes, Miss M. I've always been curious about snorkeling. It looks so much fun. I'm excited too. It will be great to explore what's beneath the surface without having to come up for air constantly. We're sorry, Miss M. We don't have snorkels and swim masks. Yeah. We forgot in the house. I don't have either. It's okay, Miss N, Moto M, and Ashley. I've seen people using swim masks and snorkels in movies. I can't wait to try it out myself. Miss M, are there any specific rules or techniques we should keep in mind while using snorkels and swim masks? Absolutely, Ellie. First, let's talk about swim masks. They are essential for keeping water out of your eyes and providing clear vision underwater. When putting on a swim mask, make sure it fits snugly but comfortably on your face, forming a watertight seal. What about snorkels, Miss M? How do they work? Great question, Layla. Snorkels are tubular devices that allow you to breathe underwater while keeping your face submerged. To use a snorkel, place the mouthpiece between your lips, ensuring a secure and comfortable fit. Breathe normally through the snorkel tube and enjoy exploring underwater without having to come up for air. Miss M, what do we need to keep in mind regarding safety when using snorkels and swim masks? Safety is always our top priority, Lydia. Here are a few important things to remember. Never hold your breath while using a snorkel. Okay, now you are jumping into the pool. Well, I need to remove this thing because I can breathe underwater. Layla, why? Wow, we're in the underwater. I'm wearing my swimming goggles and look at that view. Yeah. This is fun. We're going to the underwater in the swimming pool. I love it. I like to go underwater. The next step is floating your buoyant bodies in the water. Buoyant body? I can do it. We don't know, Miss M. Jenny M, do you have a buoyant body? Yes. I can float in the water. But it's too hard to float in the water. Aw, oh, come on, Ashley. Look. I can float in the water so easily. Yeah. Come on, Ashley. Make it do it. You can float like us. Um. I don't think have buoyant body. Miss N, you can do it. 
Just like Lydia is doing good for floating her buoyant body. Lydia can float with her buoyant body? Yup. That's right, Miss M and Maria. Lydia Copsy, you can float. Oh yes. Moto M, just submerged your entire body in the water. Help. I can't swim. I'm drowned. What's happening? Are you okay, Moto M? Whoa. I can't float. Yay. See? What if Layla and Ellie are doing float? Yeah. Come on, Ellie and Layla. Let's go float. Uh. Okay. And last be not least, water treading. According to Wikipedia, treading water is what a swimmer can do while in a vertical position to keep their head above the surface of the water, while not providing sufficient directional thrust to overcome inertia and propel the swimmer in any specific direction. How did you do that? Just like me, okay. For example. Egg beater. What is egg beater? I can do it. Same here. Yes, I'm doing the egg beater. Bravo, bravo Layla. That's very spectacular, Layla B. The next step, it's the frog kick. Frog kick. We're kicking all the frogs. <sighs> kicking frogs? Weird. Look at me. Wow, that's perfect for doing frog kick, Zoe. The next step is bicycle kick. Hey, Miss M. Here is the bicycle in the water. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Layla, why? Why did you bring that? No, Layla. Bicycle kick treading water, not that bicycle. Oh, sorry. I can do this. Whoa. Zoe. She doing a bicycle kick. Next step, flutter kick. Flutter kick? What's flutter kick? Flutter kick entails keeping the legs straight while alternating one in front of the other as if walking. When on a horizontal axis, the flutter kick is an effective propulsion technique. But, uh... Wow! I can flutter kick now. Yay! Same here, Layla. Hey Stephanie, Maria, and Jenny. Look at these girls who are doing flutter kick. Wow. Layla, Ellie, and Zoe are doing flutter kick water tread. Very good girls, it was very good. That's wonderful for all of you. Congratulations on all the lessons. Thank you so much, Miss M. Thanks, Miss Madsen. That's very good for swimming lessons. I agree with you, Maria. You're absolutely welcome, girls. Well, girls, let's go home right now. Oh, yes. Man, I'm so hungry. Girls, let's go to my house, and we're having pizza and spaghetti. Mamma mia.